one of the views in Minitab I really like is having histograms of the data and then separating them out, sort of like what it does for a dot plot having them stacked on top of each other so I can see where their distributions line up and using the same x-axis the entire way. It's not something you can easily get to with Minitab. It took me a little bit of work but I figured out how to do that so I wanted to share that with you because I think others might find it helpful or useful. The data set I'm using is out of Minitab. It's the billiard ball elasticity data and I'll post a link in the notes for this video where you can download that file. I'm using Minitab 21, but you should be able to use this feature in past versions of Minitab and probably future versions. Okay, the first thing we do is go to Graph and Histogram. Go down to the bottom with, with Fit and Groups. Then we're going to select Elastic for our graph variables, and we're going to categorize it by Additive. And this will create our standard histogram with groups. You can see this is a little messy and busy. So what I want to do is stack these on top of each other so I can see the separation more clearly. So we'll go back under graph and histogram. You can do control E, that's a shortcut to get there as well. And we'll select fit and groups. Now go down to multiple graphs and select the second one there in separate panels of the same graph. And also select same X at the bottom there, which will make things line up nicely. Next we go back into the other tab at the top by variables and we select additive in this first line where it says by variables with group and separate panels. Click OK, click OK again and now we've got the three graphs separated out. In order to make these stacked on top of each other you have to double click on the chart or right click and select edit graph. This will pop it open. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little closer. Then you need to click on the top of the header. For the additive, there's 0, 1, and 2. So when you click on those, it'll highlight all three of them. And then we're going to right click on those, and you'll see Edit Panels. Under the Rows and Columns section, under the Arrangement tab, you'll see uh, Automatic and Custom. Change it to Custom, and we're going to select three rows, because there's three different additives, and one column. And that will allow us to stack on top of each other. Click OK. And voila, you've got the, uh, a nicer view of the breakout. And you can clearly see how one additive is higher or lower than the others. On the right side, we've got some data about each of the additives. I haven't figured out how to take out the asterisks and missing data there, um, but that's good enough. You can see that there is a mean standard deviation and sample size for each of the three additives. Hope you found that useful.